Hey, what's going on? This is Tower Green Regimen. I'm really excited today. You know why? Because today is day nine, and you know what time it is? It's time for some crisis cardio. Oh, you guys love crisis cardio. The amount of videos that we receive were just unbelievable. So we're gonna keep it going with crisis cardio. So now, this is your second time doing crisis cardio. I even love the name so much. I just keep saying crisis cardio. But here's the deal. We're gonna focus still on form at this point, but the next time we do this workout, we're gonna pick up the speed. So we're going to do, or we, let's say we're gonna start with walkouts for our first exercise. Now remember, the way crisis cardio works is, it's gonna be one minute for every exercise. Zero breaks in between, no breaks. Three rounds, so it's 10 exercises, one minute for each exercise, and then you can take like a one minute to three minute break, but for the most part, you wanna get as close to one minute as possible, but listen, I know it's tough, so just get it done. That's all I care about, okay? All right, so we're gonna start with walkouts. So with the walkouts, you're gonna stand up straight, you're going to bend down slightly, and you're gonna walk your arms out basically to a high plank position, and you're gonna come back. Now, for this workout, or for this exercise rather, I'll allow you to stand up to catch your breath quickly, but then you gotta go back down. But really the goal is that you just wanna keep it continuous for this one minute. There you go. Now, if that's a little bit too difficult for you, for a lot of beginners out there, you can just walk them out on your hands. I'm sorry, on your knees. There you go, just like that. One minute. Next exercise, non-stop. We're doing plank oblique crunches. So you wanna make sure that you get that knee up to the oblique. Get it up there. Try to get it as close to the elbow as possible. And then of course, here's the modification. Right on your elbows. It still really work to get that knee up in the air. One minute jump ropes. Now, I want this to feel like a speed rope. So just make believe that you have a real jump rope in your hand and you're just jumping. One minute straight. The hip thrust, now there's two ways you can do the hip thrust. One way is the more difficult way and the other way is a little bit easier, but of course I'm gonna start with the more difficult way. So you're gonna get in a high plank and remember this hip thrust, this version of it, is just like the first part of the burpee where you thrust your hips up, come back down. And then eventually, this will be the speed that you'll do it at. Now, the easier way, the modification, bring the toes out. Bring them in, bring them out. In, out. And then we transition right into the push-up punch. Just do a regular push-up come down, extend with the left hand, extend it with the right hand, just like that. Now, of course, you can do the push-ups on your knees, same form. Make sure that you're really working that shoulder on the punch. So with the sumo squat, of course, your feet are gonna be a little bit wider than normal on the squat. Your toes are gonna to be uh, pointed out and make sure that your knees are going in the same direction as your toes. Keep that core nice and tight and just sit back. See, it's a much deeper squat than normal. That's why it's called the sumo squat. And make sure that you're coming off the heel. When you come up, you see my balance? I wanna see the videos look just like this. And from the side, just so you can get another angle. Next is a speed run in place. Now I want you to check this out. In a couple of videos I saw people doing this, which are more or less butt kicks. No, for the speed run, I want to see those knees up. Get those knees up high. And again, if you can't get those knees up to the waist, then you can get the knees up as high as you as high as you possibly can. But as you progress through this workout, you can be able to get those knees up. So we're doing lunges now and we're gonna alternate legs. Start with the right leg. You wanna come down softly, make sure your weight's on your heel and push off your heel. Left leg, the same. Now I do have an alternate way for you to do these as well. If you're feeling that you're not really as balanced as you like, you stand straight and you could try a reverse lunge. 
that you might have a little bit more stability doing the reverse lunge. So you can choose whichever one that you prefer, but I like to do the forward lunge myself. Time to work those abs. So we're gonna do plank knee to chest. You're gonna get in a high plank and bring those knees to the chest. Alternate knees. And of course the modification, you can go ahead and do it right on your elbows. Last exercise, we're gonna do oblique hops. So you can go ahead and get in a high plank position and you're going to jump right to your right, then to the left, middle, right, middle, left, middle. And I have a modification for you because that is definitely difficult. You can go ahead and get on your elbows and you can go to the left, middle, right, middle, left, middle, right, middle. But eventually I do want you to get these. Crisis cardio, crisis cardio. Let me tell you something. This is most definitely one of the most challenging routines that you will ever do, but you're gonna feel so accomplished when you achieve it. So listen, make sure that you follow us if you haven't yet. Like this video, share it with all your friends and family. Please make sure you do. You know what I want you to do as well? After doing this workout, pick whichever exercise that you like. Make sure you send us that video. And then of course, let us know what, which is like your favorite exercise, because I'm just curious. I love them all. Keep in mind, each exercise within this workout, one minute long, three rounds. Crisis cardio, let's see you for day 10.